Hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl, Ashley of Frubless Veggies, coming to you with another Test Tuesday. And this week, you clicked on the thumbnail because we are going to be reviewing Simple Truths plant-based chocolate chip cookies. Yes, you guys know I love a sweet treat. And you know me, I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. So if this is your first time tuning in, thank you guys so much. This is how we do. We take a vegan plant-based product, we taste test it, we give a star rating, and we wrap up the video at them because why spend that money, honey? Why spend that money, honey, if you don't have to? I'll do it for you. Also, shout out to all the veggie fam that stay up to date with me each and every week. If you wanna be a part of the fam too, make sure to follow me here on all of my socials, yes. And let's get into this review because that's why you're really here, shall we? And boom, so here's that closer look. You guys know that Simple Truth is a part of Kroger brands, but for me it's Smith's, cause Smith's is like the west coast of the Kroger's, okay? So, and yes, I put an S, my bad. <laughs> but it's the Kroger brand. Um, but anyway, it's the place and bake, so you don't have to worry about rolling them out yourselves. Like, it's probably already pre-cut for you. Um, it lets you know it's non-GMO. You get a dozen in the package, okay? And then it lets you know right away it's completely vegan. So, flipping it over, we're gonna go ahead and do the top five. I'll let you get the full breakdown here. We'll do the top five. It is enriched wheat flour. Then you have the semi-sweet chocolate, and it lets you know like what the chocolate is made out of. And then you get palm oil, brown sugar, regular sugar. And then what surprised me, it's not the top five, of course, but I'm gonna speak on it anyway. It has chickpea flour. Yeah. So I wonder, I wonder if we're gonna taste a little bit of the chickpeas or if it's gonna be subtle in the back. We'll see. And then as far as the nutrition facts, you get 160 calories, obviously one cookie per serving. And then the sodium is really low in comparison. It's only 180 milligrams, which is nice. Of course, you already know you bake your cookies in the oven. It's gonna be 350. They say for 17 to 20 minutes. So I'll probably do it for 18, just to give like a subtle soft, cause that's kind of how I like my cookies. But anywho, I'll open up the package so you can see what they look like. Hold on. Okay. Look at this. Ooh, these look good already. I cannot wait to try. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so here's a quick video of me putting the cookies in the oven. You know, it's cookies. It don't take long. Y'all don't have to see too much. But as you can see, the cookies are back here. Yes, and then here's an up close and personal. Yes. Here, let me see if I can hold it up. Like, Look at these nice size cookies. So let's take a bite. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's get into these things that I love. Okay, so I love that this is like the perfect size cookie. It is the perfect size. It's, it's, it just smells really good. It gives you the nice sweetness with the chocolate chips. It's like the, the semi-sweet is just perfect. I love a semi-sweet. It's not too much, but it's just enough, you know? Love that. Um, it's right, it's like the right amount of gooey on the inside, but like on the outside, like the crust part, like the outside crust part right here, it's a nice little like crunch, you feel me? Which I like, I like that in the cookie. Um, I will say for the cook time, I did do the 20 minutes, so do the 20 minutes because I got a little nervous doing the 18 and it looked like it was still kind of raw and undone, so yeah, do that. Um, but yeah, this is like the perfect chocolate chip cookie you would expect, really truly. You can't even tell this is vegan. Honestly, you can't tell it's vegan, which is, the best part okay and then sliding over to the love me nots i'm gonna stump y'all because i don't have any um i'm if i'm being real extra they are a little oily that's probably from the palm oil i don't know if you can you probably can't see the oil on the plate but it's a little oil on the plate at the bottom that's the only thing but i mean most cookie spots i feel like they have that you know when you go get a cookie from like the ones at the mall and things like that so that's just me being extra Outside of that, let's get into the star rating. 
It's been a while and I'm happy to be here. We are giving it five out of five stars. Yes, we're giving it five out of five. This is the best cookie. I love low effort treats as well. I didn't have to roll it out. I didn't have to get my hands dirty for real. This is perfect. Uh, thank you so much, Simple Truth. Thank you so much, Smiths and Kroger, because these are gonna be my new favorite things. So let's wrap up the video. Hey y'all, I also had to hop on and say, I did not taste any chickpea anything, okay? Cause I know I mentioned it before, I was a little nervous and I forgot and I played it back and I was like, oh, hold on. Let me make sure to tell y'all that I didn't taste any chickpea either. So yeah, good job. Okay, for real, we wrapping it up. <laughs> Okay, you guys, it is the wrap up. What do we think? What do we think? Would you give these cookies a try? Have you tried these cookies already? Okay, make sure to comment below. And thank you guys so much for tuning in with your girl, Ashley at Fro Bliss Veggies, where we're always cooking up fresh greens on a daily. Again, here's all of my socials just in case to stay up to date with me throughout the week. And thank you guys so much for watching.